Guys, on this episode of Mr. Truck Reviews, we have a 1998 Chevy K1500 four-wheel drive and Mr. Truck. Mr. Truck is here to save the day. You know what this reminds me of? What? Snow, cold. We do Ike gauntlets and blizzards, you know? It's called the Ike gauntlet blizzard. At least the heavy duties. And I'm, I'm, yeah. that's, why don't we just hook up traders to all these trucks and, and take them up the mountain? That's a good point. That's a very good question. <laughs> On this episode, we're trying to do a couple of things. First, I want to ask Mr. Truck, is GMT 400, the generation of this Chevy truck, the best ever? And also figure out which truck was the best in this era, late 90s, early 2000s. Was it GM, Ford, or Dodge? Because this is a series, we also have the Dodge 1500, Ram 1500 truck, and the Ford F-150. So, let's see. So tell me about this. What, what do we have? It's a beautiful truck. This is one of my favorite Chevys. They were big in design. I always liked the way they looked, where they did the chrome, the double headlight layout. And these look like they're kind of foggy because you got to do something with the headlights. Yeah. But these are really fun trucks. And I think they're one of the best driving trucks, best steering trucks. Of that era? Of that era. Yeah. yeah. This is a four wheel drive. Now, does this have the torsions on or is it in yeah, independent? Tor torsion. Yeah. Torsion. Uh, we picked up this truck, actually a TFL truck, for about $3,200, so it was pretty cheap. And this is an extended cab. Let's pop the hood and see what we have. Um, talk about engine options. Right, right. So this is a 305, the 5 liter. What's really cool about this engine is that the first one, they put sequential injection. So it had like an injector for each cylinder, so just the port in the intake. Really popular, and of course it went to the 350. It was a bigger engine in this, and I don't know if they ever put a 554 in this or not. A 454, I mean. Well, there were heavier trucks, obviously. I mean, yeah. they had, this was the technically the K1500, right? So right. this is a half ton. We just did a kind of a brake flush on this. And of course, it still has that side post battery. Look where the distributor is. It's clear to the very back by the firewall. Can so you point really, at it? Yeah, way back there. That's That was a typical thing of GM. They like to put things way back there. They're hard to get to. <laughs> now, where's the, where, do you see where the spark plugs are, Andre? Yes. Are they above or below the exhaust manifold? They're right above, and look at this. So that's an improvement for them. So they had little shields. Yeah. These little tiny shields, and the exhaust manifolds, uh, well, they're okay right now. They're a little rusty. I do have some oil uh, residue here on the valve cover, but this truck has about 207,000 miles. Well, that's pretty good so, that it's still kicking because, you know, now they're, you know, I expect them to last that long, but back then, they had, they had a hard time getting there because you need wore out so much stuff on these trucks. And, you know, like this one here is not leaking a whole lot of oil. I think it's your idler. Right? You think so? Yeah. So, uh, there is a squeak, definitely. So, I changed the belt. I was checking all the pulleys. I squirted some WD-40 on a lot of the uh, pulleys. So you think it's the idle, idler? Yeah, the idler for the serpentine belt is what it looks like it is. It's making a lot of movement back there. Um, down here, I put a front mounted hitch and I painted my tow hooks red. Quick connect for, for the winch. It goes to the side posts on the battery. That right. was very difficult to install yeah. with the side posts. So, like you said, they had the V6 engine in this, right? The 4.3. Yeah, the 4.3, that was a very good engine, and this one was a very good engine. And you know, the 350, you know, there's a billion 350 engines out there, yeah. they're in everything. So, I'm, I guess I'm a little bit upset that I don't have a 5.7, but should I be? Well, we're gonna, if you're gonna tow with it, it'd be nice to have the 5.7. Yeah. And it's, you know, this one, I don't remember it overheating, like the, you know, the 4.3 with the trader could overheat, and new series of 5.3s can overheat, but this one actually was a pretty good engine. You know, and it was, they, they sold a lot of these. I've seen them in El Caminos. I've seen them in just about everything out there that Chevy and, and General Motors makes. But yeah, yeah, no, this is an improvement, except for the battery. Okay, and uh, at, at the end of this video, I want you to get in and drive it. Okay. Will you? Yeah. Okay. Um, I gave it a small lift, so it has a, um, once again, a torsion suspension up front. You turn up the keys, and I gained about an inch and a half, and this is a 33 inch tall tire. Um, Toyo in this case, and look, no clearance issues whatsoever. Yeah, look at the so sidewall. That tire's got a tremendous sidewall. Yeah. But this is also a Cheyenne, so yeah. they had like four major trim levels, right? Right. In this model, they had a work truck, which had the ugliest grill in the world, a single headlight. That's okay. And then the Cheyenne, which is probably the most popular selling one, which is this. 
and then that Scottsdale, and then they had the Silverado. Silverado was a model before it maybe became the whole brand. Yeah. But you know, good looking trucks, but I never liked the mirrors on these things. That really? Was Why? Well, they're, they're small, they're yucky, and like you had the Mickey Mouse ones on your truck. I well, this is the Aerodynamics. Is that what that is? Yes. It's not even a moon mirror, but yeah. So not... tell me about the interiors in these. Okay. Well, this one has a rip. Well, this is pretty common. And this doesn't even have much bolsters, but this is like, almost like a bench. It's a split seat. So the dash is mostly intact. Yeah. Um, all the switches mostly are intact and working. And the four-wheel drive uh, lever is on the floor, which yeah. is where it should be. And I like it there. Now, the older ones, like my 96, you've got buttons for the four-wheel drive. Really? Yeah, which I really don't like. I like a mechanical connection to them. But guys, take a look at this cab. This is an extended cab. And this was in the period when crew cabs for half times weren't around, right? No, they weren't. It was it was weird. I mean, and before this, Neil Square Bodies, they actually made a crew cab without doors on the second doors. So yeah. you, you had to crawl in the cave. That, that goes through the whole series of no doors to three doors to, you know, now four doors. And this is still a two door because it doesn't have that third suicide door, right? Yeah, it wants to throw the kids in from the side off yeah. the road. So this one good. doesn't have it because it's more of a simple uh, model, I guess. And look at the bed. Look at the shape of this bed. It's amazing. It probably had some kind of a bed liner in there for cargo, but no, it's an excellent bed. It's really in good shape. And these are good heavy metal too. Yeah, totally. So, Mr. Truck, what do you say? Do you want to take this for a spin around the block and give some impressions on well, how sure, it drives? Let's go, let's go do some donuts, man. Wow, okay. <laughs> Now this was cool, you know, now they sense if somebody's sitting on the passenger side, but in the old days, you had a way to shut the airbag off. And this is cool. Oh, listen to that noise. Wow. I guess that cassette will quit sometime. <laughs> steering is really good. These were always very nice steering trucks. They were excellent going down the road. I just wish they would have had a wider axle earlier than they did. And they had a nice soft suspension too. That's what Chevy's claim to fame for a lot of years, was how well they steered and how smooth the ride was. We'll hit this bump a little harder, see if it shakes you out of your chair. Oh, no, you're still there. Look at that. See how soft that roll was? It rolled right over that indention and did really well. So, no, this is a good driving truck. 200,000 miles and this thing, look at the steering. I can steer with one finger. But, no, this is good. This is really good. So, Mr. Truck, how was the drive? It was great, you know, that's what I remember about these trucks. Because I've driven a lot of these. I think it's the best riding truck, the best steering truck. I mean, you know, I, that's why I don't think the power steering is making the squeak, because it just, one finger you can steer it. Yeah. And we rolled over some rough stuff, I was trying to shake him loose from his camera, <laughs> and it just rolled right through there. One of the best riding trucks. And this 305 is a fine engine for a lot of purposes, but me, I, I love the 350s. I know. So you put that, you put this truck, and you got a really big winner. So no, these were great trucks back then. A lot of competition. You know, these things were selling, you know, 500,000 units a year. So you got you got a lot of people loving these trucks. And it had one of the best looks out there, and just had some few small things I would change on it, like the steering wheel, like the back axle. But other than that, I liked it. I liked so is truck. it true? A lot of people say this fourth generation GMT 400 was probably the best GM ever ever did. Is is that close to truth? No? <laughs> now that's a real tough one. I think that's one of those things everybody's got to answer for themselves. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think it's one of the best looking Chevys. I think it is one of the best riding Chevys. So I can see why they would say that, because it is. It's a great truck. And 200,000 miles, and there's not a pile of oil underneath there. There's none of those problems you used to have, even in the you know 70s, 80s, and 90s. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, you can check Mr. Truck out on his channel, Mr. Truck TV. Yeah. Right? Uh, also, MrTruck.com. And stay tuned to TFLTruck.com for all the latest truck news and, of course, some classic truck reviews. And when you get done with this, you're going to sell it, right? On TFL. Yeah, Bids? do you want to buy it? Well, I'm saving my money for one more. <laughs> <laughs>